here it is finally, the bedroom tour. I say finally because I had every intention to post it earlier, after I got some window treatments up, but as it turned out I couldn't live with what I did put up and much less share it, so I had to start over. Not a fun project considering that I had to drill six holes in a concrete ceiling overhead standing on a stool that wasn't really high enough, and then to take it all down and drill new holes in the walls this time. Let's start from the beginning though, shall we? I moved into this one bedroom apartment two months ago. When I bought it, it was listed as a two and a half room apartment because the previous owners put up a dividing wall in the bedroom. I had no use for the wall and immediately took it down. After I also demoed their wardrobes, painted the ceiling and walls, had the floors sanded and refinished, I was left with quite a good sized room that fits both my bed, desk and some storage. My apartment is on the ground floor, and while this area of Södermalm and Stockholm is very quiet, there is a bus stop just outside, and buses run all the time, except for a few hours in the middle of the night. I lived window treatmentlessly for the first few weeks, but with the noise from the buses, I sleep with the windows open, and the light from the light post in the street, I realized I needed to cover the windows up. It's been a tricky process. It's a corner window, so I wasn't sure if roller blinds, which is my favorite choice, were going to work, since I'd get a gap in the corner between the blinds. So I opted for floor to ceiling length blackout curtains. It took me a full day to install them with the drilling, hamming and ironing. And I hated the results immediately. I hated everything about it. I hated the look, the feel of the blackout fabric, the shade of white, the ballooning at the bottom, despite weighing all four lengths down with lead weights. And it turned out I had to get on that stool in the morning and evening, just to draw the bloody things. Epic fail. It took a few weeks of rethinking the whole thing and getting back to my default of blinds again. I went to Ikea, bought their white blackout blinds, cut them down to size, drilled those holes and now I'm a happy camper. There is a gap in the corner and minion bonus like to lay on the windowsill looking out at night so I can't pull one of them down completely. But you know what? It works. I feel so relieved and so much more comfortable with this look, which some people would probably describe as sterile or bare. To me it's just simple and unfussy. And after that tale of two window treatments, let me show you the rest. You enter from the hallway and the bed is to the right. I like to keep the bed really simple, and it's basically just a knotted bed sheet as a bed skirt and a woolly blanket aside from all white bedding. The nightstands are the Cartel Componibili, which I had before at the house. I like that there is a bit of storage underneath, and I only keep a water bottle and a phone charger on top. The lamps are super simple ones with white shades. I might switch the lamps out for my porcelain bird lamps, but for now I really like the simplicity of these. On the other side of the bed I have a Muji essential oil diffuser. I turn it on for an hour when I go to bed at night and I feel that the lavender mist really does help me sleep better. Next to the bed on the right is a little walk-in closet. I'll show you how I've set it up and organized it in a separate video. I got this simple Alex desk at IKEA and placed it on the wall facing the entrance. I know you're not supposed to have a desk in your bedroom, but I keep my worktop very minimal so it doesn't remind me of work or stress me out in any way, and I'm happy with the setup. When I moved in, I just set these milky plastic Muji drawer units that house some craft supplies on the floor here, and that's where they've stayed. I might move them down the line, but for the moment, it works. The desk seat is one of several that Villa's dad Martin and I built from scratch years ago. It's on wheels, has a washable cover, and is still going strong. I like that it can disappear under the desk when I don't use it. To the left of the entrance, where the built-in wardrobes used to be, I put one of my Asplund snow cabinets. It houses some of the few books I still have, some office equipment and paperwork. I borrowed Villa's vintage globe and put it on top. And speaking of globes, the ceiling light is a vintage simple white globe which Martin salvaged from a school back in the early 80s. 
Behind the door, I keep a fourth dining chair and Minnie's little lounger slash scratcher. As far as rugs go, I have a round IKEA one from the old house and on it sits my Ames rocker that I've had for years. It's a great place to toss that woolly blanket at night. And that's basically it. Simple and minimal, just the way I like it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also consider subscribing if you don't already, there's more coming up on my channel. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.